Hi guys, I'm Krina and welcome to my channel and as you can tell today's video is a little different because it's not a creative tutorial or a vlog. It's literally just me sharing my feelings and updating you guys in regards to what is on in my life and how I'm feeling and what I've been up to. So as you guys know, I moved to Canada eight months ago. It's been a pretty long time and lately there has been so many things that I'm feeling internally that's affecting the way I feel about a lot of things. Um, this video is literally in no way to just complain about my life or make you guys realize how sad I am. I'm not. I am happy here but it's just that there are certain things that I would want to work on and it's affecting me emotionally and physically but I just feel like I wanted to share that with you and I wanna I have realized a few ways on how I want to solve these problems and yes yeah, so I'm gonna share my problems with you and I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing next to make sure that everything is okay and I'm back on track so one of the things that I'm really facing lately is whew, loneliness. Um, so when I decided that I wanted to get married, I knew that I'm going to be um, going thousands of miles away. Um, that I'm going to be um, leaving my friends and family and my life. Okay, this is not going as planned. but. Sorry, I'm super happy because I get to live with my best friend, he, my husband, I love him so much and I am so blessed to have this life after eight years of long distance, like doing a long distance relationship, but I miss home. I miss um, my parents, my brother, my friends, everybody. But again, in no way I would trade that in for anything because the standard of living is so much better here. The weather is good. I can finally breathe because I'm always sneezing and coughing. It's just, it's, it's, I can't get the best of both worlds. That's the reality. But yeah, <laughs> I am a little lonely. Um, I do like being with myself, but at times it's nice to have that interaction with someone. I mean, we just moved downtown, so I have access to a lot of places now. Another thing that has been bothering me is my career. So some of you guys know that I did go to FIT in New York to study textile design and the only, the sole reason I did that is because I needed some kind of international education in order to work here. I did do textile design in New York assuming that I'm going to get a good textile design job when I move to Canada because I knew I was moving to Canada since years. Honestly, in Toronto, there are hardly any textile design jobs. So firstly, I had to wait six months to get my work permit, which I got in November. I knew I was going to get it in November. So by September, October, I started looking for jobs. Um, that time, the response was pretty good. I did do like four to five like part time jobs. Um, they were great, but it's just that that's not what I wanted to do. That's not where my heart was. So I left those. The bottom line is like even career wise, I just feel so lost at times. Because um, I've tried so hard. I've been the best with everything that I've done so far in my life. And all of a sudden, it just feels like I'm not good enough. <laughs> Sorry for crying, but um, it's just at times it just like pulls you down. It's like I've not done anything wrong and it's just, it's hard. Because um, I really want to work. I really want to do something, but it's just like, how? What do I do? I mean, obviously I can go get a job at Starbucks tomorrow. I can work at a Walmart. I can work at so many different places, but I want a good career. I just don't want a job to earn money because I have that creativity in me. I know that I can use it somewhere where it's valuable. But again, I'm just gonna be patient, keep applying and see how things go. So the third one is to do with just 
my health and like my physical appearance um, at times I beat myself up for not eating right and not working out so here's the thing I've always been active okay I've always tried my best to work out as much as I can not because I've been through like a rough phase in my life uh, physically it's just I love eating salads I like eating healthy things but for the past three months I have not been doing that um, I've not been motivated enough to go to the gym um, I'm eating just quick and crappy food and here's the thing I have to make my own food so another thing is that the weather has a huge impact on how you feel so I'm not gonna blame it completely on the weather but it's kind of true because it literally gets dark at 4 30 when you wake up it's still dark um, so there's no like natural light and it's so cold outside that I'm not really gonna step outside to get in some sunlight so I feel like that also has an impact on my daily life so yeah a lot of these factors that i just spoke about are somewhat interrelated i know that if one thing is kind of messed up in anyone's life all the other things get affected bottom line is that my husband and i have realized that i do need a change of scene um and yesterday we booked a ticket to india i am flying out tomorrow I am going home to see my friends, my <laughs> my friends, my family, my brother, everybody. I'm going home. I'm going for 20 days. I need to reset my mind. I need to just go back. Um, it's happy, happy tears, okay? Um, I'm happy. Um, I'm going home tomorrow. I booked my flight yesterday and I'm super excited and nobody knows in India, no one knows that I'm going back home. And um, I really just wanna be at home. I want my mom to cook food for me. I wanna eat right. Actually, I'm not gonna be eating right. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be eating right. I'm gonna be eating junk. I wanna eat street food. I wanna eat pao bhaji. I wanna eat my mom's Gujarati food. I wanna have fresh coconut water every day. Yeah, so when you'll be watching this video, I will already be in India. I hope that going back um, just brings that satisfaction into my life. Like just all these things that I've been missing for so long, it's just like killing me inside. Once I get a job, I would only get like two weeks off in the entire year. So right now, since I do have time and um, the weather is going to get really bad in the next month. So luckily, I'm escaping the Toronto winter and I'm going to be home. <laughs> I'm going home and um, I'm super excited, super happy. But yeah, I hope you guys... Um, understood what I'm going through and if there are certain things like this which is going on like wrong in your life just like find a solution to it and implement it because I've been thinking about going back home for the past three months like I always like talked myself out of it but since um, my husband like really like pushed me and he booked the ticket for me and I'm, I'm so glad he did this but I just feel like you just gotta do what you gotta do in order to like be happy again and yeah i'm going to india and the next video that you'll see will probably be a vlog that i shoot in india just like basic stuff of what i'm really doing just like how i am like how i feel when i'm back home again and i hope everything goes well in my life and in yours and yeah thank you so much for watching bye